tonight's Grammy Awards. So here to break down the fashion hits and misses is host of Bevelations, Miss Bevy Smith. <laughs> Guru and author Lloyd Boston, fabulous. <laughs> and fashion stylist extraordinaire Robert Verdi. Oh. Oh, All right, family, welcome to the show. Let's get started. We're going to get started with Cardi B. Bevy, what did you think? Well, Cardi B went vintage. This is a 20 year old Cherry Muse yes. look. It's inspired by the birth of Venice, and I call this the birth of a superstar. Yes. That's it. Now, here's the thing about this. I love that Cardi feels bold enough to wear such a really striking fashion. Yes. To make it such a striking fashion choice. But I also love the fact that she's paying homage to the great Mugler, darling. Ooh. So it means she's very serious about fashion. Shout out to Colin Carter, her stylist, who does a great job with her. All right, what'd you think, yeah, Lloyd? I loved it, too, because she's not being measured by the general standards of the red carpet. Uh -huh. She's making her own statement, and she's heading towards a residency in Vegas, so she's giving yes. you a little yes. Bette Midler. She's giving you a little Bob Mackie. Very smart. It's the whole drama yeah. of it all. I love it. What do you think, Robert? I, mean, I was born to flex. Diamonds on my neck. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Why Why'd you pick that dress? <laughs> you, now, you... Oh, you said, why'd you pick that dress? <laughs> I, the dress is like, don't you love her commitment? No, I do. I mean, what I love about the Grammy specifically, and yes. certainly she delivered, is that it's co totally unexpected. It's the Wild West when it comes to fashion. That a yes. lot of the award shows are very boring. The girls look like they're contestants in the Miss America pageant, kind of mm -hmm. looking for score. And here, she really, you know, the, the entire industry turns out, and she turned out. Yeah. I just have to say, my favorite look on the runway, Cardi B. All right, next up, we got Miss Kylie Jenner, Lloyd. Well, mm -hmm. let's keep it 100. This outfit is wearing her. Ooh. This feels like really? fashion triage to me. It looks like she's in two arm slings. Oh. The, pa the pants are ill-fitting. And you gotta think about it. Some things that are designed for the runway don't really work on women who aren't ready for the runway. She's a young girl with a young body. She's not a tall fashion like model. More well, you know, body. You know, yes, she's baby. Not, she doesn't have a young body, per se. She has a new body. And what I would say about <laughs> that, <laughs> is that, it does look like she has on a straight jacket. Yes. And I think that she should, and to what Lloyd said, I think that she should leave high fashion couture kind of looks to her sister Kendall, who is the model in the family. Yeah. Okay. That's what she should be doing. Okay, so Robert, what, you, what do you I think? Mean, I like I like the fact that she doesn't have dishpan hands. I, I think <laughs> I think it's great that now we know she has a job doing dishes. Yeah, but it, do, it does look like she's doing dishes in an insane asylum. It looks like a straight. <laughs> do you think it's just it's, it just seems like she's such a, she's got this body. It's so much the pants don't fit. It's this bondage thing at the top. Yeah, she it's a lot. She wants to prove that she doesn't always have to show off the body. But honey, you did so much to get it. Like show it off. I, I think her. she's trying to both compete with and not be like yes. Kendall. Yeah. Okay. Miss Bevy, I'm, I'm cracking up over here. <laughs> now we got Miss J Lo. What did you oh. think, Robert? Oh, okay. I think that Alexis Carrington got right on the phone and called her <laughs> and was like, you gotta stop. <laughs> now, she's, um, she's got the blinged out sombrero kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing, you know, the dress is Ralph and Russo. I love Jennifer Lopez. No matter, even when she makes a mistake or steps off, she always get, knocks it out of the park. I, I wouldn't want to sit behind her. Um, no. <laughs> but I do think she looks fabulous. I don't like, all right, so Lloyd. Well, let's let's try to salvage this okay, because you can you, you can you can salvage your look. Let's lose the hat. Give yeah. her that J Lo high pony with that Miss Venezuela fall she right. does, yeah. and she would look gorgeous in this kind of totem pole of a Ralph Russo dress. Her body yadi yadi is amazing. Yeah. I think she just went too far with the hat. She got too excited about the Motown moment and went too far with the literal kind of mahogany look. I just and and bam. Yeah. Okay, so my, what do you say? My, my point was this. I thought that the dress was a little matronly and, and not sexy enough for what J-Lo does. You think does. her leg should have been showing more? Uh, yeah, and I thought, yeah. yes, a leg, give us a leg. Okay. But then also, too, I felt like she was excited about the Motown tribute and she was trying to channel a 1970s Detroit pimp with the hat. Okay. Yeah. And, and so I, 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 I commend the commitment but I don't think she had to go that far and with it. You know what I love about J-Lo is I love her eyes. When she hits that red carpet, those eyes, I didn't like any hats at all yeah. for, you know, for a the Grammys. A lot of hats. A lot of hats, no eyes. Okay, now next up is Lady Gaga. Bevy, what'd you think about Lady Gaga? Okay, now you remember. Yes. Lady Gaga was known for wearing theatrical costumes on the red carpet. We can never forget that she was in a meat suit. She came in an egg. She did all these crazy things. Now I guess she's on one of those keto diets or something. <laughs> she's on lean. 
I love the beachy tassels here, and I love, love this it. gorgeous Celine gown. And what it does signal to us is that she is no longer a music star. She is a movie star. Yes. Come on, Oscar nominated. Come on, Oscar nominated. Yeah. <laughs> Love it, Robert. She knocked it out of the park. I mean, I agree with Bevy. I think you hit all the points. That she came, she came to us in this wild way, and yes. now she's evolved into this this absolute stunning movie star. And she really gets it right because the grooming is spot on. Yes. Grooming with that easy, on. that's a little too much. Like we Wait, don't need to see all out. that. Time out. Okay, it, it, Lloyd, is what? the grooming spot on? I like it. I like, I like the roots. I think it's. I think like it looks it. fresh and modern, I especially think... when you have on that tin foil kind of dress. You need that kind of fresh and modern I makeup. Like the flyaways. I feel like, like the I was, dress. Well, I got flyaways. I feel like the dress was begging for a little bit more on the hair. This feels like I what just else woke up. What could she have up. done with the hair? It's she so could have edgy. done the hair. Uh <laughs> That's what I think. I mean, that dress. There were th there were hundreds of hours of work put into that dress. Give me an hour on the hair. I love. Okay, now I, I thought the hair was so edgy and That's it, right. yeah. fashion forward. I think it makes it. Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Let's be okay, real here. What? Would you step out with hair that looked like that? I would. I, I got some dress? hair on a dead on head on my dresser in my dressing room. <laughs> black black girls don't do that crazy. I, I would have probably. My hair's a tousled now. That's tousled. You know, Lloyd, I liked it. And I, it's better than all that meat she was wearing when she was wearing prime red right. all over <laughs> the outfit. All right, all all right so we gonna go. <laughs> we gonna go to Katy Perry. Lloyd, what do you think about Katy Perry? Uh, well, let's talk about hair. She okay. looks beautiful. Yes, Look at that face. The hair is easy, but it's still done. <laughs> the haircut is sharp. That beauty, that face, the makeup is fresh. Now the dress, let's talk about the fact that this is a museum quality dress. I love the fact I that Belmont, like that dress, yeah. but Lloyd. it's better for runway or museum. Okay. I feel like the hip padding giving you that Marie Antoinette look was a bit much for the red carpet, but she is known for taking risks as well. She looked like a cake topper. Yeah, that, that, was, was, candy. that was cotton candy. Yeah. No, uh, and, and, uh, Coney Island couture, that was cotton candy. <laughs> Coney Island couture. I <laughs> love, love, love a floppy confection of a dress, but this gave me the sugar diabetes. Okay. <laughs> That's what this game. I'm with you. You know. Yeah. It's extreme. You didn't have Robert. What do you think about the dress? I mean, I, I think that I, what I love about Katie is she delivers high fashion. She does do things that are right off the runway. I don't think that this is the real way to wear it. I agree with Lloyd. It Lord. just looked kind of oompa loompa. I mean, I'm yeah. just like. This I, is more Met Gala. Had she done this yeah. for the Met yeah. Gala, it would have yeah. made a lot more sense. Yeah. More yeah. artful. It's so yeah. funny who takes risks and the fails versus the wins, like yeah. Cardi B. Janelle Monet is our next one. Yeah. Robert, what did you think about Janelle Monet? I mean, you know. <laughs> okay. Literally, be honest. She was channeling like a modern Dominique Devereaux. I think that I think that it was, you know, what's what the what goes wrong with her is that she's so damn beautiful, yes. you can't hate anything she wears. You'd like... Yes, you can, because I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's Gautier. I believe this is Gautier, right? It's yes, Gautier. Gautier. I mean, I, I think it could have worked without the hat. It's too costumey, but she kind of does that and delivers that all the if time. If she falls, she gonna cut her head off. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but just too bad about yes, the headpiece. That's not actually a hat, it's a headpiece, it's a halo, and then it has all these little gold safety pins all over it, which I enjoy, because I'm always on the verge of a malfunction with the wardrobe, <laughs> and then if I could have borrowed one of those. But I also love the aerodynamic shoulders of this, Did you? and then the lovely soft pleating of the dress. I thought it was a um, very important fashion moment, and she always delivers in that Ooh, way. Lloyd hated that. And she's well, no way basic. Lloyd, I don't... Well, let's, let's be we, honest. What are we hearing? This is a work of art, but okay. these types of dresses do work better in magazine editorials. Yes. yes. They do work better on photo shoots. Oftentimes on the red carpet, they're misunderstood. She's drop dead gorgeous. And they're hard to control. But these angles are working against and her. Like and I don't like her shoes either. And they it feels like, like that's an album shoes. cover yeah. on her head at the Grammys. It's too much. I don't like that. I don't. Mm. No, you're right. This and I love everything Janelle Monet has. Yeah. But I'm just. Now, love her. Gorgeous. Well, let's see what we can do with Dolly Parton. Robert, oh, what'd you Lord. think about Dolly Parton? Well, I mean. She's an icon. Working nine to five. What a that was way the best to make part. a living. <laughs> um, I, I love Dolly. I think she's an icon. And we don't look to her for fashion. She's, she's just got this iconic look that we right. know she's going to deliver. She's got this country western couture thing that she always does. Um, and it's amazing at 73 that she can deliver that body. Yes. yes. Oh, at 73, absolutely. Yes. You know what Dolly Parton has famously said? You'd be surprised at how much it costs to look this cheap. And so I say, <laughs> Dolly Parton, you nailed it again. Yeah, and you know what? She calls herself the backwoods Barbie. Yeah. And that's a doll I would want to have on my counter. I love that. <laughs> She's yes, hot. Dolls. So we're all in agreement. We love this outfit yeah. from yeah. Dolly Parton. I love. 
I love when Dolly Parton was singing nine to five. All the millennials didn't know what that song was. <laughs> they don't work nine to they five. They don't work, they don't work at all. So shoot. <laughs> so thank you, family, for being here. For more info on our panelists, log on to wendyshow.com.